So today I'm talking about hand care. Okay, I'm gonna give you some info around how to take care of your hands throughout the week to help avoid any tears when you're doing a lot of work on the pull-up bar or on the barbell. So during training, uh, generally any work I'm doing on the pull-up bar, like uh, pull-ups, bar muscle-ups, toes to bar, then I'll use my leather gymnastics grips. Okay, so I'm using the bare complex grips at the moment. I find them to be pretty sturdy, so they last quite a while and they give good protection on the hands. Uh, that being said, if I'm doing any strict work, like strict pull-ups or strict toaster bar, then I'll try and avoid using those grips just so I can build up a little bit of conditioning on the hands. Uh, if I'm doing any work on the rings, like ring muscle-ups, if the volume is quite high, then I'll use the grips again. However, if I'm doing strict or just a few reps at a time, then I'll try and avoid using the grips. On the barbell, uh, I'm normally using a hook grip, so I'll just put some tape around my thumbs. And again, I'll try not to use the, hook, the, the grips on the barbell. So a couple of tools I'm gonna use. Uh, I've got my callus blade here with a packet of spare blades. Okay, so you can get these on the Wadlife. They're about $10. And I've got my manicure stick. Okay, so I think this is actually for nails, but it's essentially a couple of bits of sandpaper on a stick. All right, you've got a coarse side and a smooth side. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do uh, and how I use these. So I'm gonna take my blade I'm just going to take it to the, the hard sort of raised calluses on the hand. Okay, leave the soft parts alone and don't go too deep. You still want to leave a sort of hard layer there, alright, but you just want it to be nice and level with the rest of the hand. So how that's going to look, you have to push down quite firm. as well you get a little bit of a build up there and then just any other spots so you can see we've got quite a bit of skin um, my hands actually aren't too bad at the moment so uh, normally it's a lot more than that so this part normally happens in the shower I've got my pumice stick essentially all right, my hands are wet. I'm just gonna take a little bit of soap on each side. I start with the core side first and just start rubbing away, smoothing out all those rough parts. Each of the fingers, the thumb where the hook grip normally builds up the callus and then just finish off with the smooth part. And that's it. So what I've shown you today, that's just something I do week to week just to keep the hands in check. Uh, if something goes wrong and I do happen to tear, then there's a couple of ways to approach it. Uh, it just depends on what, what type of tear you've got, okay? So if you just get a blister and the skin's all sealed, uh, it's still intact, then I'd definitely just leave that there. It's essentially, your skin is acting as a natural band-aid, okay? So you don't have to worry about treating the wound or anything like that. So just leave it. Uh, if you need to, scale back the, the movements, so you're doing strict movements um, for the next couple of days just till it heals. Uh, if it does rip and then you've got blood and it's an open wound, Okay, just make sure you wash it, treat it as you normally would, put some disinfectant on there, cover it up, and then after a couple of days, again, when the skin underneath is hard, you can cut off that skin flap and then just treat the hands as you normally would. The last little piece of advice, uh, if at any point during the week my hands are just starting to get a little bit tender or a little bit dry from all the chalk, uh, then I've got this rip fix. Okay, there's a couple of different types you can get on the wildlife there five to ten bucks okay so I just put a little bit of this on my hands uh, usually just before I go to bed at night and then when I wake up the hands will be you know pretty moisturized feeling pretty good from all the vitamins in this stuff hopefully you've enjoyed these handy tips if you've got any questions just let me know and I'll do my best to answer for you guys